history stories, we're talking about the overthrow of the Queen of Hawaii, 1893. Uh, this event is dedicated to Duke Honomoku, mm -hmm. and Duke Honomoku was born in 1890. Okay. And uh, so... You know, he lived during that time of the Kingdom of Hawaii through the provisional government when they overthrew the Queen of Hawaii. Now, that happened on Janu January 17th, 1893. So January 17th, coming up really soon here. Uh, yeah, two days. Commemorates the 130 years since the legal wow. overthrow of the Hawaiian Kingdom. But as I was mentioning, uh, as I was talking with Ezra, there's two dates that are important. 1893 was that coup that took place. 1898 is the uh, annexation. So really there's that period where it's kind of in limbo where like, mm. because the, the 1893 uh, coup wasn't sanctioned and it wasn't, th th there was no treaty that took place. There was a lot of uncertainty and there were several attempts to try and restore the queen back to power. One of those attempts was led by the Hawaiian surfer and Prince Jonah Kuhio. So it was an attempt during that time period to, to restore the, the, the queen back to power. And um, it, anyway, there was some, the, the, the plan didn't go as they had hoped. And anyway, so so we're honoring Duke Honomoku who lived during this time period. And something really cool that takes place is that Duke, he, he really gets into surfing as a young man. Uh, apparently he learned to swim at a very young age. One of those maybe, as you mentioned earlier, could possibly swim before he could walk. Yeah, <laughs> there's stories of it. I guess his dad just throwing him off the canoe and like, swim, boy. Just make it, yeah, and make it happen. He also had a very big family and a lot of brothers who were also accomplished watermen, including Olympic medalists as well. Wow. So, wow. yeah, so his whole family was very um, accomplished as, as watermen and as athletes. Yeah, so Duke Honomoku, um, after, you know, 1898, when this annexation, supposed annexation, the treaty itself didn't pass, but there was this New Orleans resolution, and uh, eventually we get, uh, Hawaii becomes known as the Territory of Hawaii, which becomes a territory, but at that same time, in 1898, the United States basically acquired a lot of different territories, one in American Samoa, uh, also in uh, Guam, Puerto Rico, Cuba, Philippines. And, and so the Virgin very, Islands? That's a good question. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, I that does be become a territory, yeah, but, uh, but... Back to our Pacific side. Not sure if that's the same year, but... But anyway, it, it uh, really, you know, Hawaii becomes this, this territory mm that, as I mentioned earlier, Prince Kuhio was actually elected into office as one of the uh, delegates to Congress. So a territory doesn't have, you know, s senators and representatives. It, it just has one representative of the, of the delegate to Congress. And Prince Kuhio well, lived in Washington, D.C. during those years, but he also would go what back and forth between Hawaii and D.C. Yeah. I mean, I... I Sometimes, you know, when I, I'm married to a, a beautiful woman from the Midwest, so I get to travel to the area a lot where they don't see a lot of Hawaiians, right. typically. And, you know, I, I do wear things that will uh, kind of give people the hint, but, yeah, well, you look sure. at me, but you look at me and it's like, is he from Saudi Arabia <laughs> or like Guadalajara or Sao Paulo? <laughs> you know, you can run the gamut. And, um, but, I, you know, you can feel kind of unique walking around as yeah. a Hawaiian in those, and I can't even imagine how Jonah Kuhio felt yeah. walking around Washington, D.C. back then as a Hawaiian. Just a, what a trip. Well, especially in that time, you know, you had Jim Crow laws in the South with essentially segregation between uh, races. Around. Well, I'll tell you a story that's precisely uh, about that. So he was living in Washington, D.C., and you have this, you know, segregation mm, right. in the United States. And uh, he went to get his haircut. This is a, 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 a congressman, right, from Hawaii, who's also, as I mentioned earlier, an expert martial artist in the Hawaiian art of lua, which is a grappling and uh, striking art. And he goes in to cut his hair, and the barber apparently 
says, oh, we don't serve your kind here. Beat it. Oh, oh wow. He grabs the barber, drags him out to the sidewalk, licks him. No way. Knocks him out, and then, like, says, oh, I don't like you cut my hair anyway. <laughs>